Oh, well, hi, I'm back. Oh, it is hot. I mean, hot, hot, hot. But I managed to go to physical therapist. I did it like this. I went to Goodwill first, and I'll show you in a minute what I got. And then I went to my physical therapist, and I went to Walgreens to get my medication. So when I got finished going to Walgreens, I said, you know what, I want to go around the back and look in the dumpsters. And I was back looking in the dumpsters, and there were these different things in there. But this dog and this man scared me. And he scared me so bad I just ran back in the car. But at least I did get a chance to kind of know and look in the dumpster and see, you know. What I do is I melt the little pill bottles and make sculptures out of them. I think I showed you some, a couple of them, but I haven't finished them. But I will do a DIY on that. And so I saw a lot of them. They weren't the brown ones, so they were the white ones, but that might be even better. But as I was getting ready to pull out the bag, first the dog peeked out, and I'm like, what the heck is that? And then the man, and he laughed, because I t what I did was I took some trash that, like, I was throwing it in. So I just got in my car and drove off. But I think I might go back there tomorrow. A couple of the um, garbage cans were, were locked, you know, but that's okay because all of them aren't locked. And I'm only going to those things to the back of the stores. I'm not going dumpster diving. First of all, I'm too old. Second of all, I have a bad leg. I get out and I can't get out. And there's a rat inside of there. The rat ain't coming out alive. So I'm not going to even bother with that or anything. I'm just going to do what I got to do. The piece of hair sticking up. Okay, behave here. Anyway, moving right along. Let's talk about Goodwill. So I'm going to go right I'm looking for things, you know, and, oh, this woman's hat at my bed. So I find, I don't know whether I'm going to keep this. This is actually the Michael's Book of Paper Crafts. And it's right here. And um, I look through it. And I might just give this to my daughter because she likes doing those kinds of things. But, you know, I might keep it for myself, because I do, too. You know, like I said, I'm getting my myself back into things and stuff like that, so who knows? And then I had, I got this one. And this was the Southern Gospel Music Cookbook. But I think I'm going to put this one. I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. I might give this as a gift because it was brand new, actually. As in, it looks like it hasn't even been used. You know, sometimes people get these things from certain people, you know, when they're selling things. Then I got this. Now, this is three pies in, in simple steps. And there's one for the meat pie and... I'm really not sure what all that is. I got a whole... And then there was some butterfly wings in here or something. I'm actually going to take it out so you can see it. The kit... I don't know what I was doing. I was looking through that little rack where they have the arts and crafty thing. This right here is swans. I guess that's for candy. That will never be made by me here. But this is the the pastry. Let me take this out. This is the pastry. Um, and I guess there are all kinds of cutouts and things and whatnot. And I guess you stencil in the. No, I can't get it back in. That's always cute. You stencil in the. Um, oh, it's caught. You stencil in the. Um, the pastry, I guess you use, because it shows you where they're doing the powdered flour and everything like that. So that was nice. I don't know who I'll give that to. And then, of course, I got the, it's called crisscross Lattice Pie. And this is what it looks like. This is what it all looks like right here. These are the directions back here. So, I don't think, although I make pie, and I make a pretty good pie crust, I think I'll give this to somebody. 
and they can do whatever they want with it because I'm not thinking about making a pie anytime soon like that anyway you know what I mean I just have my way of doing things and I had to you know I don't know I just I don't see it but that's a good little haul right there so that's what I got but I got some more things wait a minute so wait a minute then I got these right here Okay. Some of the things that people throw away. I'm beginning to see. Okay, like um, slow cooker, magic and minutes, and this is my favorite brand, and it's by some slow cooker, and it's all new. So I might give that as a gift. Who knows? I might give this my first giveaway. Like I said, it'll probably be the end of August, first part of um, September. And uh, I'm going to give away different things. I'll actually show you the basket, you know, so that you can give it away. And I'll tell you how to, you know, add on mine or whatever. I got two Christmas with Southern Living cookbooks. They're not nice. These two right here. And then I got this one. Okay. Now, remember... I wasn't sure these were two dollars a piece. I wasn't sure what the percentage was that they took off, but it's twenty percent. So I spent twenty dollars all in all. And I got four of these for my paper. They were a dollar a piece because I couldn't find them in um. And then I got, um, where are they? Then I got this. I think this is the one, I'm not sure. Yes, this is the one right here. And they only had one. Can you see that? The work in that? I don't know whose this is. It doesn't have any name on it or anything or any marking on it. But it's really, the work in it is really um, fantastic. So I don't know. I might fill that with some colored stones or something. Or, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. We'll see. Because I'm going to rearrange my house. They put down chocolate brown carpeting. And the man who put the carpeting down left the carpeting samples. And they sat there in the corner for about, oh, I'd say about a month. So you get these big square samples. And then you get the little square samples about so big, round squares in different colors. So one day my granddaughter and I just took the whole thing apart. So I left the square sample and I left them for, you know, them to sit down on and color and whatever. And then we pulled all the square samples, the small ones out, and we're going to do something with those. But like I said, they're away at a wedding right now. I got this for a dollar. I thought that was pretty. I like the designs in these. So I hope to do something with this as well. And then I got, where was it? I got this. This was my last one. Now, Friday, they're having 50% of, not the clothes, but all of the goods and the house goods and everything like that. So I got to go get some blood work done first. Yeah, it's that time of year again. Okay, damn vampires. I gotta go get some blood work done. So I'm gonna go run over there after I get some blood work done. And um, see what they got. I got this. Isn't that pretty? Look at the look at the top. It's metal. 
Now, this has no markings on it either, so I don't think it's old or anything like that, but we'll see, because it is really pretty. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I might fill it with something, or I might take it over the shop. I might take it over the shop and leave it over there, but we'll see. You know, put something in it over there. But anyway, I don't know what it's in. Probably just hinges the hell out there. I know I'm not going to hell. I'm just praying every day that I don't go because it's too hot. Okay, and if that's just a sample of being hot, can you imagine what hell be like? No, nah, I don't want to. But anyway, moving right along, I'm going to, that was my haul. I'm going to be back. Um, I actually do my radio show tonight, but, um, and I guess I'll put it up. But um, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Or Friday. But anyway, have a blessed night. Do something good. I'm going to go pick something to eat. My husband's not here. He's working today in his shop. It's so peaceful. That's why I confiscated the the um, the shed. Because I told him, I said, okay, you get a shop and you get a man cave. I get the shed. And he said, that's only fair. So, and it's a nice size shed. Okay, and I have my big freezer out there. You know, but I can, and I have, I have my stockpile out there, but I can maneuver around all that. So I have a place to be by myself, okay? And read and relax and paint and whatever it is I want to do. But I will talk to you soon. God bless you. God loves you, and so do I. Have a blessed night tonight. Do something nice for yourself and do something nice for others. Oh, and by the way, when you look at these, um, sites and up, up above it it says something about um donate or something it's because i have a we have a i don't just have it we have a food program in the church so i like raising money for that and i'm actually going to try to do a backpack one for back to school so i'm trying to raise some money that way you know to you know give the kids some pencils and pens and you know i'm going to go i was going to go to staples and then i was going to go to the dollar store and it was just too daggone hot. Okay. So I'm going to, when I go out Friday to do that, I'll run my little errands and I come home because I have to be here by 1 o'clock. But, um, you know, I'll get some pencils. So, you know, that will be good. So that's why that's up there. Okay. So, again, God bless you. I love you. And I'll see you next time. All right. Bye-bye.